relationship with machines is going to change. It's going to change in a number of ways. So AI is the operating system of the future. You're going to spend more and more of your time talking to your computer, and your computer's going to understand you, and it's going to learn all the things that you like and all the things you dislike. You start having more and more an intimate relationship in some sense with machines. They'll, they'll know you better than your spouse. When will artificial intelligence overtake human intelligence? I think it's going to overtake human intelligence in about 50 years. In fact, I asked 300 of my colleagues that very question, and the average answer they said is about 2062. It's National Science Week, and my guest tonight has been called the rock star of the digital revolution. He's the professor of artificial intelligence at the University of New South Wales. His latest book is called 2062, The World That AI Made. Please welcome Toby Walsh. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's a real pleasure to have you on, and I'm sorry about all this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pleasure to be interviewed by a parent. Yes, you're very welcome. This is a highlight for you, I'm sure. Now, 2062, the prediction is that is the year when we will have made machines that are as intelligent as us. Let's focus on the positive first. Why should we be excited about that? Well, because the robots will do it for these. The dirty, the dull, the difficult, and the dangerous. We can sit back and do this Okay. This is a towel-folding robot developed by some colleagues of mine at the University of California at Berkeley. And before you get all excited that this is the solution to your teenage children dropping towels on the floor, this guy takes 25 minutes to find a towel. People underestimate what millions, not thousands of years, millions of years of evolution have compiled into our motor skills and our intelligence. It's not something that's going to happen in the next 10 decades. But if we pick, we narrow the focus, if we constrain the problem, sure enough, go to a car factory today, we'll find it's the robots are doing the painting the welding. We've made it a much more constrained problem, uh, and it's worth putting in a very expensive robot to do that. Uh, and those jobs will never come. The technology has always changed society. But society gets to change technology. Technology is not destiny. Nothing is determined. The future is the product of the choices you make today.